Good evening and welcome to Ronin's Astro Tour. And there's one title I would like to use, but I'm not too sure if it's a welcome title. I would like to call it Ronin's Astronomy for Dumbasses. Anyways, today I am going to run a simulation. It is the You're gonna have to excuse the loading times. I uh, I have installed a boatload of add-ons for Celestia, and it's slowing down the startup process. But it does start nonetheless. <laughs> Just give it some time. I've uh, installed some Star Wars junk, <laughs> so it takes up a lot of space, and some other Star Trek stuff as well. Give it some time. <clears throat> Also going to have to forgive me as well for sounding a little under the weather, but that's because I have a cold. Let's get this out of the way right here. Put this over here. Anyways, we're going to be running a simulation of the solar eclipse of August 21st, 2017. I will show you. <clears throat> People should already know what a solar eclipse is. All right. <clears throat> a solar eclipse is basically what happens whenever the moon passes in between the sun and the earth and casts a shadow. Where that shadow is, it depends on where the moon is positioned. And so, the solar eclipse, the next one that's going to happen is taking place August 21st, 2017, and I'm going to run a simulation on Celestia. It's a cheap little program that I found. Cheap, but effective. And it's a fun little program to kind of mess around with the stars and whatnot. <clears throat> so, August 21st, 2017, let's speed up the time. All the way to August 21st. We're just... In April, May, June, July, August, slowing down, 10, 11, 12, okay, so it looks like I've, uh, <clears throat> gotta make sure I keep, whoa, 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 reverse, see that shadow? Twenty first, twenty first, twenty first, and there we go. See that shadow? All right, slow it down. Reverse. Reposition the Earth. Repositioned. <clears throat> there is that shadow that we are looking for, and we're gonna. Set the clock towards when the eclipse starts. All right, so. Reverse and slow down. Rotate the planet. Looks like the eclipse is happening sometime around 11 o'clock central time. I do live in a central, somewhere in the central time, United States. <clears throat> and we are observing the solar eclipse as it is happening in the future. <clears throat> Looks like it's going to be streaking across probably close to where the Seattle is. I seriously need to brush up on my geography. <clears throat> but already 12 o'clock and we're into Montana and whatnot. South, uh, I think South Dakota. One o'clock. We're already getting into the Midwestern United States. <clears throat> and by 1.30, we should be having peak totality around Kentucky and Georgia. And then, of course, it's past the Atlantic coast. North Florida, like like uh, North or South Carolina, and then onwards towards the Atlantic. Yeah, 
I can watch that shadow right there. It looks like there's a spot of darkness here. And it's going to go straight on towards the Terminator. <clears throat> Speed it up. Reverse. Slow it down. Reverse and stop. All right. Let's take a look. The far side of the moon. And we can see where it's casting a shadow on the Earth. Let's go back to the Earth. Zoom in where the shadow is cast. And let's take a look at the sun. Where the hell are you? Oh, dang it. We just passed the sun. There it is. <clears throat> Totality, the solar eclipse. <laughs> August 21st, 2017, at 13.34 hours, 1.34 p.m. Central Time, over here on the... <clears throat> over where Georgia's at. <clears throat> North Georgia, probably Atlanta. Or Kentucky. Tennessee I uh, seriously 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 need brushing up on my geography because I, I would really love to peg what town or what city is covered in total darkness during that hour <coughs> and thank you for watching